Oh my gosh, guys, this episode was so freaking amazing, and I was just a tad bit worried after last week's episode. It was a little slow, you guys know I didn't love that, but I knew Ryan Murphy would get it together. I knew that the rest of the season would be amazing, and I love this episode. So let's just start off with the beginning of the episode, which was the awesome tribute to the Psycho movies. I hope that most of you guys got this reference. Now, the Psycho movies were from a billion years ago. I haven't even seen them, to be honest, but I do know the reference. Um, Jamie Lee Curtis's mother is Janet Lee, who is the star of the Psycho movies, very, very famous. And so the whole shower scene was a total tribute to her mom, which was freaking awesome and funny at the same time when Jamie Lee or the Dean said that she's seen that movie like 50 times. I just love that. That was such a highlight of the whole season really for me and I hope you guys got in on that reference. So <clears throat> let's be real here. I mean I've had my list of suspects since the beginning and they've changed a little bit but after this episode and some of the reveals that we got I felt like this was kind of a game changer episode and I'm just really confused now but I'm not mad about it but I'm just like I need to know, like, who are the Red Devils? I think we can confirm who one of them is, but let's let's talk about that when we get there. So I thought the fight, the ninja fight scene with the Dean and the two Red Devils and Justice Scalia, um, who is a Supreme Court justice, that costume was funny, and there were a lot of inside jokes there. Anyway, I found that epic, and I really love that as well. So it looks like Denise has moved into the Kappa house and she's kind of declared herself as house mother, but like no one wants her there. So glad to see the Denise character back in this episode. I felt like they just kind of focused too much on just a few people last week and to have all the people back in this episode really made such a huge difference. Denise is such an amazing character. She's so funny. I look forward to her and her jokes and she rocked it out in this episode. So, um, the Dean tells Grace the name of Bathtub Baby's mom, and after some investigating, they find out some more things. And what that is, is that, well, first of all, we find out that Grace has pretty much realized, not realized, but she has thought all along that she was Bathtub Baby. Now she realizes that she's not Bathtub Baby. And, um, <laughs> the scene with Jennifer... Okay, so I know a lot of you thought that she was a red devil and maybe you were a bit crushed because Jennifer was our latest RD victim, but I kind of found it funny. I'm so sorry, but she was filming a video. She might have been doing like a live candle vlog session, but I think she was just doing like a, a webcam YouTube video about her candles and some great deals that she got. Um, five out of five rating, five stars. Um, but the Red Devil, uh, got her on camera and her, when she was displayed with, as a candle herself, I mean, I found that really, really funny, but R.I.P. Jennifer, R.I.P. So, uh, there was some more shade thrown at Zayday, although she's kind of been a suspect to me before, but now she's totally off my radar. But Jennifer did mention that that Zayde had been bullied in high school and she made a statement that she wanted to get revenge on all the entitled rich girls but then Zayde was in the bathroom and she heard Jennifer saying this and shortly after Jennifer was murdered so you know it kind of wants you to believe that Zayde was the one who did it of course Denise has said from the beginning that Zayde is a killer but I really don't buy it what do you guys think about Zayde oh yeah and thumbs up this video if you thought this episode was just freaking amazing because I really did so, um, Grace and Pete go to talk to that woman who I really felt like was important. I don't know if I mentioned it in my video or in my live chat from last week, but the crazy woman who was painting people and she said, I paint them all. That's what she said. I knew that was going to be important and it turns out that it was because Pete and Grace figure out that maybe, um, the hag of Shady Lane spent some time in that mental asylum and it seems like that they were right because the crazy lady who paints everyone had a painting of this woman who we see who now Grace and Pete realize is Gigi but the biggest reveal here in this episode was that she didn't just have one bathtub baby with her she had two twins a boy and a girl now I've always thought that the RDs were a guy and a girl. I think we can pretty much confirm that Boone is one of them, so now we have to be looking at which girls could be the Red Devil. But my first instinct was to say that the Red Devils have to be the twin babies, okay? 
So I thought that really narrowed it down for us about it had to be like a white girl around Boone's age. But the more I think about it, maybe that's just a little bit too easy because Ryan Murphy is very clever and I don't think he wants to make it that easy for us. So who knows who the other Red Devil is? I do think it's a girl, but we'll get to my suspect list, list at the end of this video. So, all right, the Dean decides to shut down the university because there's just been too many people who have been killed and she was almost killed herself. There was a very nice 80s music tribute to Jennifer, which Eternal Flame is a great song. Um, <clears throat> so Grace confronts Gigi with this news about her being the hag of Shady Lane and the twin babies and all of that. Now, honestly, I felt like that was pretty much a dumb move to go confront her by yourself. Because here's the thing, and Gigi points this out to her, she has no concrete proof. She has a crazy woman in the mental asylum who painted a picture that kind of looks like Gigi with some babies. But it doesn't prove that Gigi's a murderer or anything like that. I don't really think Gigi is a murderer. I think she's just been the mastermind up to this point. Of course, um, Gigi said, you know, it's just because you're jealous, Grace, of my relationship with your dad. And the funny thing is we find out that um, Gigi wanted to be engaged to her dad, so she went out and bought her own engagement ring and proclaimed that they were engaged, and he had, like, nothing to do with it. So she's completely insane, actually. Um, so Grace goes to her dad, and she's just, like, trying to warn him all about Gigi. He's not buying it because, once again, she doesn't have proof. And he thinks she's just kind of quirky. I did love her mustard jeans and I love her 90s wardrobe and Gigi's character actually really, really, really cracks me up. So Chanel had some Scotland Yard investigators come in and she decides to end up paying them to see what they could figure out about what's going on and see if they could prove that Zayday and Grace are the killers. Um, something that they were able to figure out is that Chanel number no. 5 has been trying to kill her and searching online for ways to do so. Now, she totally blew this off, but I do think this is something that's important and that we should pay attention to. The other thing they uncovered was information about Grace's mother. It turns out that she was the Kappa president and she had had a lot of bad stuff going on in her life, like drug abuse and DUIs and theft and all kinds of craziness. Um... Sadly, her mom had so many issues and Grace was really upset to finally end up learning about that. So what's interesting is that when um, Grace is kind of connecting the dots here about Gigi being at that school with her mom and with her dad and then she's like looking at her dad like, wait a minute, were you, are you guys all in on this? Because how did you not know Gigi back when you guys were in school? And he makes a really creepy, sinister stare in the mirror. I've always felt like Wes, her dad, was super shady. I still feel like he is. I'm not going to say he's a red devil, but I don't trust him. What do you guys think about him? So Chanel number one breaks that news to Grace about her real mom. It was just really rude and really terrible. And she tells her that she did not she did not die in a house fire, but she actually died in a fiery DUI crash when she ran into a tree. But I'm starting to wonder here, do any of you guys think that perhaps um, Grace's mom is actually alive and all these stories are fake? I don't know. For some reason, I just got that feeling. Um, the best part of the scene, though, was when Grace slapped Chanel number one because, come on, she really had that coming to her. I loved it. So Grace goes to her dad and freaks out on him because she knows this information now and she freaks out on him for lying to her, uh, which, you know, he said he was just trying to protect her. But guys, again, I find him really, really, really shady. And Gigi is trying to convince him that Grace is having a mental breakdown and that he shouldn't listen to anything that she says when we all know that Gigi is the crazy one. So... So Denise convinces Chanel number one to actually feel some remorse for being so mean to Grace about her mom and she apologizes to her which is probably the only time in her life she's ever done that. I absolutely love the flashback of her as a little fashionista and the sunglasses as like a kid. That was so so cute. I loved it. So we finally get to see Boone in a hilarious scene where people think he's some kind of celebrity that he's not and his whole disguise at the gym was hilarious to me but he's really mad and he's on the phone with who we can all assume is his either his twin sister who's also an RD or the other RD for sure and he says that they should take out Gigi because she's just getting in the way so it looks like in next week's episode they're going to do that plus I find it really interesting that he's going to reveal himself to everyone in next week's episode and they find out that he faked his death and they're all really suspicious of him but I'm sure he's made up some story to try to make it make sense but I really don't know how it will. 
So we only have four episodes left. Um, at least that's what the show is telling me. I know some of you have found on Wiki that there's more episodes, but in the promos, that's what they're saying, so I'll just go with what they're saying. So considering that I at first thought that the other RD has to be the twin sister of Boone, my suspects were or are Chanel number one, Chanel number three, Chanel number five, and Chanel number six because they're really the only ones who fit into this mold. I don't think that Grace is a red devil. But there's a lot of different things going on in my mind. I mean, what if they're trying to trick us and the other red devil is not the twin sister? Maybe the twin sister doesn't realize she is the twin sister. So maybe Grace could be the twin sister. I don't know. I mean, there's so many different lies being told. Maybe it's Chanel number one. I don't know. Maybe she was adopted. You know, that we just don't really know. And I think it's going to be really hard to completely figure all of this out, which I think is good because if we can figure all of it out, then the writers just aren't that smart. So I want to know what you guys think after this episode since we have new information. Um, I kind of hate the fact that they've let us know from the beginning who Boone is and everything. And I don't know. I'm wondering if that's a distraction or... If he really is the bathtub baby and a red devil, I don't know. But one last thing before I go, I definitely think that Chad Radwell is going to be involved in some way. I've said this from the beginning. I think he's playing stupid, and I think that's going to be a twist at the end. I totally believe this. Um, every week I have a live show. It was just amazing this week, and it's there's so many people coming and so many comments. I'm thinking about making it longer than 30 minutes. Anyway, that information is down below. It's at 6 p.m. Eastern. Um, Wednesdays on my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Kelly TV. You know that I would love it if you would subscribe and that would make my day. So if you love the show and you enjoy these videos, please hit that subscribe button. I will not let you down. So thanks for watching this episode and I'll see you next time. Bye.